Hey, this is Amy again. Um, I wanted to show you guys how to find scholarly articles in Galileo. Um, so I'm going to click on the Galileo button here on the Roberts Library homepage. Um, I am on campus, so it's going to let me write in. Um, and let's say when it loads that I want to um, look for information on uh, law enforcement careers. Okay, I'm going to put that, that in quotes. Career. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my search terms. Um, one thing I want to do, of course, is uh, update my publication date. Okay, so past 10 years looks good. Um, I talked about uh, accessing full text before, but um, under the limit to section over here on the left, we can narrow our search just to scholarly or peer reviewed journals. Another thing I like to point out is if you scroll down to limit by type, click on academic journals and that filters out anything like book reviews. Um, again, you do have the option to uh, limit to full text, but if so, yeah, probably um, you would want to do that if your assignment is due soon. But um, yeah, we have a lot of different sources here and as you can see, um, you know, we have limited it to scholarly peer-reviewed um, journals. And anyway, um, that should help with this project. Another resource that I like to point out is the Anatomy of a Scholarly Article. I've actually just Googled that, um, but this is a site that will talk to you about the different portions of um, scholarly articles if you're not really familiar with reading them. Um, so you can like click on it to tell you a little bit about it. It's a really great resource. Um, anyway, I just like to um, make students aware of that. And um, let's just type in scholarly article and see what we can get here. What is a scholarly source, peer-reviewed, source of information? Okay, so there's a lot of information out there um, giving you a definition of what a scholarly source is compared to a popular source. I mentioned earlier that if you think of any questions or run into any issues to please get in touch with me. So this is my information from the library staff directory page. Um, email is usually the best way to get in touch, but um, please do contact me if you think of any questions.